Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. Alright, so here we are at the Fraction Vocabulary Mastery Check where you are going to see if you know these seven words. You are going to write out an example or a sentence or anything you can think of to represent what these vocabulary words mean. If you're looking for more of an instructional video, I dropped that link down in the description where I cover these seven words um, and tell you what they mean and give you some examples. So go check that out and then come back to the mastery check if you need to. If you're ready for the mastery check, you should have something, to, something out to write on and write with. And when I say pause here in a few seconds, you'll press pause, write out what each of these means. And when you're ready, go ahead and press play and then check your work with mine. Your goal is to have all seven of these correct, okay? So if you're ready, go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. Let's see if you know what these words mean. So numerator, again, some type of sentence or something written out, maybe you have an example, whatever it may be, it should be indicating that the numerator is the top number of a fraction. And then the opposite would be the denominator, which is the bottom number of a fraction. A mixed number means you have a whole number and a fraction. So 10 and 3 tenths, 1 and a half. Okay, those are all mixed numbers. Proper fraction means your numerator is less than your denominator. The top is less than the bottom. Maybe you wrote examples out, whatever it may be, the top should be less than the bottom. Improper fraction, which these are fractions that are greater than a whole, the top is greater than the bottom. Okay, so I'll, I'll write out some examples here. There you go. Like fractions means the denominators are the same. So 1 sixth and 4 sixths would be like fractions because the denominators are the same. Or uh, 1 twelfth and um, 7 twelfths. Those would be like fractions. Unlike fractions means the denominators are different. So 3 sevenths and 4 fifteenths or uh, let's do 3 ninths and 17 over 21. Those would be unlike fractions as well. So hopefully you have those seven vocabulary words down. Those are kind of like the building blocks of fraction vocabulary there. And then just a bonus here, if you remember from the instructional video, what does it equal if your numerator and the denominator are the exact same. So 8 over 8 or 12 over 12, what does that equal? Hopefully you're thinking one whole. If the top is equal to the bottom, it equals one whole, no matter what the numbers are. It could be 1,000 over 1,000. That's still one whole. All right? Thanks for watching.